So I'm going to take this brisket and it's been salted, like I said, for a few days. So the salt has penetrated in there. Now I've got my Montreal spice mix here and I'm going to liberally coat this with the rub. I'm going to smoke it. I'm going to smoke it in my smoking it smoker. I've also done this in like a big green egg or on a pellet smoker. You can do it in your oven if you don't have the ability to smoke. I'm just going to use some sour cherry wood that I have kicking around from pruning a sour cherry tree. Meat's going to go in the smoker. I'm going to find a really thick part in the middle. Stick the probe in there. I've set the probe to 150 degrees Fahrenheit. I want this to get up to 200, 195 in the end, but around 150, it's going to stall out and that's when I'm going to move it on to the next stage. So I have the probe thermometer set to 150. And now I'm going to turn the smoker on to about 225. And then I'm going to do something else for a few hours. The brisket's ready to come out of the smoker. It's at 150 degrees Fahrenheit, which is, you know, the stall temperature begins around there. So I'm going to move it over to a, my combi oven. A combi oven is an oven that has steam and convection, and I'm going to finish it off in there. But before I had a combi oven, I used to just do it in this right here, which is just a, a roasting pan with a rack. And I would put the brisket on the rack. I would fill the pan about halfway to three quarters of the way up with water, making sure that the brisket wasn't in the water. And I'd wrap this whole thing with foil, aluminum foil, and I'd stick a probe in there. And now I'd probe it until I hit around 195, 200 degrees. And I would, you could put, the, I would put this in the oven sometimes, but mostly I would just put it on the on the burners of my stove. And you can see on the bottom how it's stained from the fact that this was on the burner. So you need a fairly thick pan to do that. And if you're comfortable with that, that's the fastest way to do it is to just put a rig like this, foil, brisket, water on top of your stove and just let her go until you get to 200. Okay, 150 degrees Fahrenheit later. This is what we have. This is smoked. Uh, it's not too dark. You can feel like, you know, it still has a lot of connective tissue in there. The smoking part is done. It's been smoking for multiple hours, about seven hours it's been in the smoker. And now I'm going to finish it in the combi oven. And I'm going to leave it in there and it probably will take another hour, maybe even longer, to bring the internal temperature of this up to 195, 200 degrees Fahrenheit, which is where it'll be tender and pull apart. OMG, look at this. This thing is gorgeous. It's wallowing here in its own juices. I'm not gonna cut it up tonight. I'm just gonna take a little piece here to give it a, a little taste of the bark and see where we're at. So here we go. We have a nice piece and look, it just, it's just pulling apart. It's just absolutely fantastic. And it tastes really good. I mean, this is exactly what you want. Man, 